Sabando. I'm a marine biology major at Florida International University. So today I'm going to be talking about ocean acidification and its effect on marine life. So, according to the Smithsonian, since the Industrial Revolution, the pH in the ocean has dropped by 0.1 unit, and it is estimated that it will drop by 0.3 units by the end of the century. So what exactly has caused this drastic change in the pH of the ocean, and how has it affected marine life? In fact, what is ocean acidification? So ocean acidification is just that. It is that drop in the pH of the ocean water, and it has had detrimental effects on marine life, including coral, one of the most crucial organisms for all marine life. So where is this change in pH coming from? One of the biggest factors are agricultural and industrial waste, like runoff of antibiotics, hormones, animal waste, etc., that are dumped into the ocean and cause algae blooms. So these algae blooms decay, and when they decay, they take up the O2 in the water, they increase the CO2, and therefore they drop the pH in the water. So this CO2, along with the CO2 dissolved into the ocean from uh, CO2 atmospheric emissions, result in more acidic conditions of the ocean. In fact, according to Ocean Climat, a French environmental block site, 30% of CO2 emissions are actually dissolved into the ocean. So this CO2 in the ocean reacts with the ocean water to create H2CO3, or carbonic acid. So how has this carbonic acid affected marine life? So what it has done, it has, become to, it has begun to affect one of the most critical organisms for all marine life, the rainforest of the sea, or coral. Hard coral, in particular, are reef builders, and they're not really one organism. They are actually a colony of organisms called polyps that live on a calcium carbonate skeleton in a symbiotic relationship with photosynthetic algae called zooxanthellae. So it is this relationship with the zooxanthellae that allows the coral to provide the usable oxygen for the other inhabitants of its ecosystem. So what the lower pH, the more acidic pH, has done is that it has begun to dissolve the calcium carbonate skeleton. And this, along with other coral stress factors like climate change and low tides, have resulted in the coral losing its zooxanthellae and therefore losing its ability to photosynthesize this usable oxygen and cause coral bleaching. So this coral bleaching has negatively impacted the coral reefs all over the world. Uh, it has decreased population of fish species and it has and it has not the ecosystem dynamics off balance. So here in Florida, scientists have actually begun to study the adaptive nature of coral like elkhorn and staghorn coral, which continue to survive even in the acidic urban conditions of South Miami. In fact, recently, a hybrid of these two coral were actually found not just surviving, but thriving in some of the most urban and acidic areas of South Miami. And these hybrids and other studies that scientists have done have begun to find a key to preserving all of the world's coral ecosystems.